Oh, what's up, y'all? We live at five, and I'm Liddy Lit. So let's get it. Grand evening. Um, so I never really gave y'all a name to call me, or you know, to call him the deity that you see before you. Just like I'm looking at deity right now. Shouts my melanated beans, what kind of flavor and all that good stuff. I got my laptop, y'all. So I don't gotta worry about. Y'all gotta worry about part one, part two. You should all be in just one. Big conglomerate video. If you like to call that just language of English, which is bastardized. So, just a very one we just had to be, you know, a little snobby. Um, hey, so I want y'all to know the title of this is No Limitations, No Pressure. And first off, I'm gonna get some things off my chest, so to speak. I want y'all to know that I get that this journey can be tedious it could be sometimes overwhelming it you can kind of sometimes feel that you're too late to get all this knowledge or this wisdom in this understanding so first off numbers right now one of my biggest alchemies is numbers all these things alchemy astrology uh tarot um tarot cards all that is a science metaphysics beyond the physical or as um, one of the uh, Caucasians once told you, Albert Einstein, which pales in comparison to our genius, but nonetheless, acknowledging the genius that, or the, the gems that were given, right, that somebody says, I have Caucasian in my, well, true, oh, and I'm going to get on that too, ooh, yeah, I'm going to get on that too, Caucasians, yeah, y'all best listen up, especially the ones who are mixed, y'all best listen up, you got melanin ancestor, this is one of the videos for you, or even if you don't, because... I'm about to let y'all know, my people, I'm just about to let everyone know, there's a difference between the Caucasian and the, uh, the there, there are two different, there are many different type of Caucasians, but they're actually true Caucasians who are advanced to a certain degree in the Zeta universe and their planet is called Nerd. Just had to throw that in there. So that's some things off my chest real quick. I know, boom, right there, right? So yeah, and if you want an example of what Nerd is, you can, and you want a, uh, uh, more background on this, bro. Remedy H, I gotta give credit to the sources, bro. Remedy H on YouTube, I got a playlist saved. He talks about this too. We, we, there's been confirmed reports about this. So when y'all, that's another thing for my millionaire people. When y'all are really awakening to what the Caucasian and just the whole entire ethnicity that is not melanated has done to our people as a whole, it's understandable to get upset. It's understandable to have that killmonger mentality. And good on you, because that's what I am. Let's keep it a book. As my sister would say, uh, shout out to that Piscean energy or my number sevens. Shout out to y'all because uh, I have a Piscean sister. But that's a, it, boy, I ain't going to give y'all that because I'm going to have to, you know, whoop up on some of y'all asses. This is not the time for calls right now. Uh, yeah, so the, uh, an example of what Nerd is is um, Elder Scrolls Online. So like Elder Scrolls, like Skyrim and all that. For all my gamers out there, so I'm a gamer. I mean, y'all yeah, just reveal some of my stuff to y'all. And I never really gave y'all a name to call me, too. Um, you can say Bro Draco Sith Zach L, if it helps you. Or Bro Zach L, for short. DZ or whatever, you know. You can the initials out, put all that details. But because it, it never really was about that, but just to give you a reference of the deity and the energy that you're working with or that you're listening to, that's a part of the melanated conglomerate of chaos that is you melanin people so i'm just one deity just like you were a deity so don't get it twisted i ain't all advanced i just acknowledge the deity within that comes with the benefits of that which is what making the ancestor to healing my trauma finding out downloads giving downloads each one teach one or each i don't even like to say each one teach one because for melanin people this is just up to date slash knowledge we already knew so you we haven't been good we getting on the new stuff though but i'm just keeping it because we're the original you have the old blood type, old negative blood type for a reason. The old original people. So keep this in mind. I want this ain't gonna be no sugar coat. You know, uh, we're all. I ain't gonna say all lives are black because y'all not black anyway. Y'all Atlantean, some uh, Atlantean, uh, Choctaw, and so on and so forth. I don't, I've said it in plenty of other videos. I mean, I say that for y'all. Like I know what I am, and I acknowledge you did with this, so that comes with that. That's why you getting on that journey within, you can get to that level too, as long as you go within. Um, but yeah, those uh, 
Yeah, so my and that's I got Caucasian ancestors. So where's your favorite Caucasian? So now you know, and you can kind of know. And some, of, but don't get it twisted. Some of these Caucasians are clones. Some of them are that. Some of them completely are natural, no souls. So don't get it twisted. That is true, hands down. But there are some of them who have a stronger spirit, and their energy is a little bit stronger than your what the Caucasians we used to that are destructive and everything else, like the Neanderthal Caucasians, like true. Caucasians like from yeah look up the book Gert, Brother Panic does a lecture he does it on the book called Dirt which gives you a detailed description of what these Caucasians did before the Moors came in but these were low-key the Berber Moors that were on what's y'all about that did that what we talked about the Divine Feminine Chronicles or you can just look up the Gnostic teachings of our people the Gnostics as G-N-O-S-T-I-C-S the Gnostic teachings, those are the Dead Sea Scrolls out of Nagamati, Egypt, that, your, that the King James Bible was recently made 50 years ago on. You get what I'm saying? There you go. Boom, right? So, and that's all us. Again, Nagamati, Egypt, going back to Kemet, going back to the Kim, the land of the melanin people. Kemet, I ain't even know. Again, this ain't about all that. I got to get to no limitations, no pressure. Stay in focus. Um... And y'all, this is why you got to work with your ancestors, because sometimes y'all be wanting to give out so much information. But really, we got a short time span, y'all, because this energy is here. Like, March 21st, when the real 2021 kicks in, y'all think y'all got superpowers now. For all my homies and homies, that, that my melanin people that was on it already, they already had certain intuitive downloads to, you know, go to your spirituality, go within, seek out more than just a box of religion, seek out more than just a box of what you were told. Oh, this about to be a payoff for us. And I'm only two years strong and they get two, two energy cycles because these years don't exist. Time really doesn't exist on the Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar is the recent version of the Julian calendar that they made to offset the original Atlantean calendar, which was 13 months because of 13 Sinophia because we kept all the knowledge open and wide because we weren't the people to hide things, to darkness. Nothing is hidden in the darkness because it is the darkness. So like that color, it will give out in because it has nothing to hide because it, it, it that's just us. We already knew the cycles as above, so, low, so below. Your zodiac is there for a reason. And if you want more advanced on, uh, knowledge on the zodiac, you can go to my um, numerology and astrology. Uh, I'm wearing the do rag. There we go. I'm, that's just one. It's called red light. Because I was born on Tuesday. Use your energy, the colors. The day you were born, you should worship yourself. You, I praise the deity within me. I honor my ancestors. I honor the deity that was brought to them, my ancestral bloodline on this day. You have to have that type of mentality about yourself because if you don't, no one else will. Some people will. Your ancestors will. I will. But it don't damn matter if your ass don't. So get it in your head that you are the mother freaking deity. Killmonger, that suit, that's you. Black Panther, that's also you. Well, not black. We're going to say Atlantia. Or we're just going to say Nubian Panther because black just uh. Nubian, I want to just say, because speaking that, speaking that new spell, that new existence, that new life on my people. Now, not even life, because it kind of, in a sense, not the reincarnational life, but the high vibrational life, the, the ascension type. There we go. This, and I'm, I have to be careful with them words again. Number five is we're good with words. So those born on the 14th, the 5th, 23rd, we're very great with words. Or if you're number two, those cancers, those, if, you, if your day comes out, like if you were born on the 11th, one plus one is two. So do that for all your birthdays and then you'll find it. Because numerology is nothing but the science we use because everything is numbers. Numbers never go away. So that's why numerology and using that in your alchemy is a surefire way to make sure that your alchemy pops just like that because it's a just you tapping into that melanin, baby, that never ending, that all encompassing. Numbers don't lie. The darkness doesn't lie because it's the darkness. So love yourself. Um... Yeah, so those, the Caucasian download though. Yeah, so you have, I'll just get to it. You have you have three types of groups. This ain't even the lecture. This is just some juicy info for everyone, some updates. You have three different really basic groups of Caucasians. You have the ones who were brought here and they were made. They're, they don't have any connection to the cosmos, point blank, period. That's one group. Um, and if you want like a description of the groups that they form, like uh, the white hats being the Gnostic, the Christian Gnostics, the Caucasian Christian Gnostics, they corrupted that stuff. And um, the black hats being the cabal. Uh, this is all from both Marvin Jones and Melanie Woodard. So get at that lecture. I'm not going to, you know, that's that brother's information. 
but just again, they're even in their own camps and stuff. So when this war, the banner, the Lord of the Rings, those banner wars, that's really about to happen. Game of Thrones, the Wolf of the Throne, the Soul of Mother Bar Gaia Barbarossa, also what the Caucasian toss to call Earth, which is a decent name, but Earth is just heart backwards because this is a heart chakra planet, which is the green energy. It's your heart chakra. It's your fourth chakra. And the um, chant to activate that is Y-A-M. Also, Yam. And you have four. You have a heart chakra. Then you have your divine spark, which is in your heart chakra. Then you have your two upper chakras. You have your higher heart chakra and your lower heart chakra. Then you have your peach chakra, which is the other chakra attached to your heart chakra. And that's just one chakra. See what I'm saying? Let that beat just hit and let that settle in. Turn it up for y'all. This lo fi, by the way. Is this something that Caucasians did? They took out. Oh, my bad. It's too loud, y'all. They took some of our beats and everything. Well, really. Some of our downloads go through them because I was about, let me get to the subject, my bad. The three Caucasians, thank y'all, ancestors. So, yeah, the group that's just created, they don't come from anything. Soulless beings, the, de the devil, or really the devil is us too. The devil is us. So they they pale in comparison. We the real devils. We You really about to see after when we activate. You think a naga can run fast. You think our women look divine. Whew, you ain't seen nothing. Medusa ain't got none on us. Ain't no one got nothing on us. <laughs> Anyway, y'all just gonna see. But for those who got those December 21st downloads, those activations, or who already were putting in the work up until that point, we driving right now. And shout out to y'all because we in there like swimwear, swimming in the divine cosmic current. Moving forward though. Ooh, from a Kundalini move with that one. Okay, y'all. Let's get these downloads in. That's the first group of Caucasians. The second group of Caucasians is they're the Caucasians who. They're half, they're just a mix in of everything from nothing. They, but basically, the Caucasian, like on its lowest vibration, that it, that that energy, that brace of beings, if you will, their, their species, that's better, their species. Then now, this is the third, this is the first and second group. This, the third group is the ones who are from there. These are the real Caucasians, like. Your Palladians, but they're really Nernians, like the original Caucasians to a certain degree, and like that's one of them. There's plenty of more. But, and again, Skyrim, you can look up this game, Skyrim or Elder Scrolls Online is a description of what Nern looks like and what, like those Nords, but that we were the Nords. Melanin people were Nords too. But it was really a melanin term over here. And like you can look at like the, basically we were everywhere, right? So, and you can go, I, right, because I gotta get even to my downloads. This way, I got bro. Look at bro Marvin Jones. Look at bro Remedy H. Um, they got plenty of downloads, especially on the different groups like the Phoenicians, like our Greek brothers who were the uh, Phoenicians, or the, excuse me, the Mesopotamians. Who special? Each group when Pangaea broke off, each group of us specialized in a special melanin art. So the Greek, our Greek, uh, the original Greek brand, we read them call ourselves that with uh, the original Phoenicians and everything else. They specialize in the melanin arts. So, like, well, where Europa was after Queen Europa, because we were a matriarchy in the uniarchy, really, but a matriarchy too, because we are in the divine feminine. We had no problems with that because that's where we came from. That's the original source. But the balance, y'all know the y'all the ball thing, and y'all can go look at melanin order on. Gnosticism basically gives you the whole of how we feel, but let, but I will go to bro Marvin Jones on the breakdown because every this like I can give you a different breakdown. Certain brothers can give you more of a... I can give you a scholarly breakdown, but I'll be having more downloads to give. And I learned some of this from a brother, so I won't give credit to our people who I learned this from. Because that's what you want to do for your people. You want to look out. Be that killmonger. Give those weapons of mass destruction to your people in the mind. Because Negroes, sweet, docile, and kind. Langston Hughes, by the way. But beware the day they change their minds. Negroes, again, they want a sweet, docile, and kind, but beware the day that we change our minds when we remember and wake up to who we are. Ain't no kind in this bitch. We motherfucking monsters, motherfucking chaos beings. We will destroy a whole universe on the whim of you messing with one of our kids. What? One of our women? Huh? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's like that. Like, you, you really, as a mother to me, have to realize 
You that naga. You that nigga. Nigga is a high vibrational word, by the way. It just is another word for naga, a nagas, serpent queen, serp, excuse me, serpent empress, because we didn't do queen, because queen is just another word for queer, which is what the gay Greeks, after they took over the original melanated Greeks, called their people because they had more so masculine energy. Again, they didn't come from the source, the feminine. They didn't have a balance of both. Just like y'all the both who created this old effed up ass realm was not created with the all, which is above the principle of gender, but the source, which has gender and masculine and feminine in it, it was just created with the feminine and not given that all spark. So still, it has to have an androgynous energy, the combining of the masculine and feminine. That's why you don't ever want it, no matter whether you're gay, don't matter. You want to make sure you're in tune with your inner divine masculine because you do have that side of yourself. Same with the dude. You want to make sure you're in tune with your divine feminine because you do, for sure, my nigga, have that inside of yourself. So don't get it twisted. And you have to get to that gateway to access your power. So don't be stubborn with yourself. Don't play yourself. As Calvin would say, the Capricorn energy. I'm not saying he on our side, though. Y'all don't get it twisted. I'm just giving this for reference for those who like, like pop sauce. If I get it. Uh, moving forward. <clears throat> That's just a download for someone. Just to remind you of the DD that you are as another name being. Because I can't. Y'all going to get a big reminder. Basically, the more you remember that, the better your powers will come. Like how we expect this stuff on December 21st. It did happen for those who put in the work. Those who made sure to be in tune with the energies. Those who made sure to honor their ancestors. Those who made sure to pull forth their effort. Not because we perfect, but because we wanted to always be better and evolve to the higher deity that we always were. It's just that simple. You don't have to be perfect. But you have to realize you're worth it. So raise your vibration and twerking. You thought Ron was going to come back after that, huh? It's okay. I'm going to just have to rework it. But moving forward, though, hey, see, that's that melanin. You see, and melanin people, all of us can rap. Listen, let me, let me put that out there. All of us can rap. All of us can sing. All of y'all can dance. All of y'all can dance. I, I'm talking to you, that one. Get your old melanin. Get your get your Titan Titan his ass out there and get your, You know what I'm saying? Don't don't do that to us. Don't don't embarrass your ancestors like that. You can dance. But believe in and have a knowledge of self, you will know that. Pouring joy vibes, grand two 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 vibes, because this is Mother Amaruka, which is this is a cancer half among Mother God Baba Loza. Like we're on a feminine de a feminine energy. Known as Mother God Babaloza being also Mother Earth. And she has a whole zodiac. So you own as a zodiac, as above, so below. You own as a zodiac, own another person's zodiac. Just to give you a clear perspective of just how expansive, just that simple system can be to know your knowledge of self. So when you know that this sign is the sign of cancer over here, and if you want to know where to find the zodiac sign of all the uh, of the earth, you can go to Bro Marvin Jones again, Bro Melanard, order. I have his video saved. They're unlocked. One second, please. I put uh, Grand 222 vibes, Grand 6 vibes. This is a Friday. Shout out to all my Torians, Librians, all my uh, homies and homies growing on a Friday because that's that Venus energy. And Venus, what's the metal of Venus? Copper. And what is the most beautiful planet? What is the most divine? What is the most cop? Her, cop her thing is copper. You get where I'm going with this. Again, so stop thinking your melanin is ugly. I get it that they made fun of you. This coming for you, especially my nines. When y'all, if your birthday adds up to a nine, for instance, as an example, one plus eight is nine, right? If you were born on the 18th, you were a nine. You're a comp That's your ultimate superpower. You have to start thinking like this if you want your superpowers. I'm giving you downloads. While I'm giving you downloads, my niggas, catch them. You know what I'm saying? Uh... But moving forward, though, I don't know, I just, like, girl, just catch these. Even if you got, like, rewind it, like, downloads or downloads, got it. For real, because this isn't for my own, this is for you. Like, my ancestors was kicking my ass to get this out because I said, let me, I'm going to show y'all how, how to make the ancestors and everything, too. But we ain't even into the downloads, downloads, but this is the downloads and the juicy stuff before the downloads, all right? Told y'all, if y'all want the juicy information, you gotta wait for the juicy minutes. It is what it is. That sounds kind of dope, though, huh? Sound like a dope X video. 
Now send this out to them in that point to my soul. Ashe, 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 Ashe. Use the power of four because remember it's the quadruple goddess, not the triple goddess. Our ancestors did do stuff in the power of threes, but we're in the age of Aquarius. And that's four, baby. Three was a symbol of Pisces, though. And seven was two, three to a degree. But not really seven for the most part. You know what I'm saying? But rather, you just want to be in tune with the energy. And boom, let me show you something. Got four feathers right here to be in tune with that energy. These are feathers that just fell out at my job. Cleaned them suckers. You know, found out they were um, a certain bird's feathers. I ain't going to say the name. And I've been in tune with the energy. Just using my natural antennas. Again, just like the palm trees and just like the bottom two, certain, certain trees grow like, not certain trees. Look up a melanin woman's hair and you see all the trees grow like our woman's hair, especially them evergreen trees. They be in Bantu knots like Buddha's hair. The knots our woman be running and be the bees people used to make fun of us having. My naga, you are divine. Stop playing yourself. I've been there. I got you. But you got you got to get up. Okay? That was a warning, y'all. I got you. Okay? Hey, but you got to you gotta rise up. You are divine. No one can take that away from you. But it's up to you to acknowledge it and take that for yourself. No one can take that away from you. No matter what the rape was, no matter what the beating was, no matter what the horrific trauma was, no matter how much she hurt your feelings as a guy, no matter how much you really loved her, no matter how much she really affected you as a girl, no matter how much you really cared about her, but you never really said anything because you don't want to be viewed as gay. No matter your traumas, you still are divine. Even if you as a guy did another guy and you married to someone, you still are divine. As a melanin, I speak for my people. Let me just put that out there now. Y'all are divine in your own ways, cool, a part of the all, all the source. I'm speaking for my people though. I'm speaking high ascension vibes into my people. Just want to put that out there. Don't want to get it twisted. Represent. But um, and also be that way with your people. Like, don't hesitate to let a motherfucker know what it is when it comes to yourself first and foremost, your soul. So this is soul over everything. Evolve your soul, gain knowledge yourself, but also realize your people are those same souls. You have some of our people that get this awakened knowledge and they get all uptight and shit like they ain't never, like, you know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong, this is my opinion. Not all melon, it's reasons for them to be uptight because of those traumas. Some of you can be having all this magic, but you haven't healed, did the healing, did that feminine healing. I like how priestess, uh, I said, Amin Ra said it. She said, healing is a feminine energy, which it is. And you have to invite her in. She said, just like a woman, man. Come on, man. You get it. Just like a woman. You got to invite her in. So you can't sometimes force her. You got some shout out to my woman who just say, hey, what's up? I like you and I want to do mm. I was, hey, at number five. Five is the air energy in Mercury, Venus, excuse me, Mercury, Virgo on the dark side, Gemini on the light side where the uh, sun hits. But also, Virgo is also the other half of. Scorpio, they're really the same sign, just two halves of each other. That's one of the secrets. As a Virgo, you connect. I'm gonna just put that out there because this is Mother Brother Sophia Aset. This is her sign. Aset is the um, embodiment of Mother Potanoi, who was the first energy, the first gender, and everything, the first gender of the womb, the first word. Mother Potanoi, you can learn about that in the Gnostic teachings. Bro, Melanie Order has a book out. Um, just look up his Gnostic lecture and he puts out a book. You can um, and get it before it's out because y'all, once a lot of us put this, y'all get these books, these archons start catching on. And I, I'm going to still finish on the three races of Caucasians since they link back to the archons. But some of these are, you know, I fucked them. I ain't even going to speak that into existence. Go do your thing. Them books still going to be there because we in this piece. We rule this now. This is our time. So I speak it that them books still going to be there. So ball out on them books and make sure to pass the knowledge on them. You know what I'm saying? And see, that's the age of never nine. Now, it used to be that we would talk, a lot of us would talk about the archons and what they doing. But now, F them. F them. You know what I'm saying? We still in this piece. We baby, we did these. We baby did these. We don't die. Chaos always multiplies. We goes nowhere. We shows up everywhere. And we are in everything. It's us that can only take down us. Only a titan can take down another titan. Only a titan this can take down another titan this. It's always been us taking down us and it's going to be us to build back us. So therefore, it's all about us. Pinky ring till we get some wedding rings. Yeah.
yet. No, asc- ascension though. Be ascending. Be awakened. Because when you woke, you can still go back to sleep. So don't fall into the, the spell of war. So you see how I corrected myself? So you got to be as a deity. Because you remember, your words got power. But still, y'all get the joke I was implying. That was just verbal. My bad. All the tight shit. Moving forward, though. Uh, <laughs> I just did want to say, though, that, yeah, the uh, the Caucasian, though. Was that Finch Run was seen originally, though? See, that, I guess I was just a download that just had to come out for some of y'all to know some of our lineage. Um, but yeah, Mother Potanoia, the first word. Oh yeah, Virgo. Thank you. Thank you. This is Virgo. Isis. Mother Potanoia, in, who's in the um, primordial, still in the primordial, right by the all, because the all had the first thought, and that was Potanoia, which is the first gender, henceforth the woman, the all, the woman, then the man. The, the energies wise. Because a man can abide his divine masculine way better than a woman even almost can to a certain degree. That sometimes, that y'all, this ain't me weak in that y'all. It's just, so let me give y'all a description. Let me show y'all how you can know how your powers are in regards to numbers. Five deals with what? Mercury energy, right? Again, Mercury is Gemini on the side that the sun hits. Virgo is on the darker side. Uh, Gemini is the, masculine energy is positive. Feminine energy is negative, but negative is magnetism. Positive is electricity. So positive energy, electricity shoots out. Magnetism magnetizes. Since for the power is magnetizing because you can magnetize anything. Eight energy is one of the ultimate symbols of that. All my eights born on the 17th, the eight or the eighth of the month. But really, I'm talking about your number, like your core number. Your core numbers are just your life path number, the day you were born, um, like also the day, Tuesday, Wednesday, and all that, because that shows you the certain deity energy that you're linked with. Also, this is imperative. You want to know that it's one of the most, I ain't going to say imperative, do as you will. But this is a great book to have to make things easier on yourself. Um, deity linkage manual, numerology, to who did you, who did It's one of our ancestors, y'all. He stayed when Atlantis was still up and kicking. When we was in higher dimensions before Earth fell to this third dimension, Mother Gaia Babalosa. But yeah, um, my brother Ali Myers. And he gives you he, your numbers all have a deity. I ain't gonna show too much of the brother book. I'm gonna just show, I was just talking about eight. No, you know this? Eight? Okay, yeah, I guess I answer said eight. So, like, every deity, see your number is eight. And these are some of the deities you connected to. It may be backwards on camera. But you see what I'm saying? And one of those deities will F with you and like realize, okay, okay, I see you. And you make you that realize these are energies. These are you. Like, but they're just embodiments. Like they have their own intelligence too. It's like a Wi-Fi, ATT, Verizon. And oh yeah, that's what I was saying too. Since I'm a five, five deals with Mercury energy. Gemini deals with the nervous system. So my nervous system. So for five, sometimes that's why you can see Gemini's they sometimes they talk fast. Sometimes be unsettled, always moving. There's someone born on like a number five, like the people born on the 14th, the 23rd, or the 5th of the month, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, they can be, or if your name, because your name has its own numerology, my nagas. It's not just the number. Oh, yeah, I'm giving you all of it. So you've got plenty of homework. I'm bored of this awakened journey. No, you're not. No, you're not. Not, no, not watching this. You're not. Let me not watching this, you're not and watching the channels that I mentioned, you definitely won't be. Oh, it's plenty, plenty for you to claim your birthright to do. These are all of our sciences. Think about it. You don't got to worry about college, work, do your thing. You can be spiritual, you can manifest all of that. This is yo alchemy at its best. I would like if I was up, I would do this then. Also, be in tune with dancing out dancing. Your melanin and kundalini activates. That's actually my kundalini activating right now. But your melanin and kundalini activates as a melanin being when we dance anywhere. When we sing, that's why how we sing, how we dance, how we taste certain things. Because melanin is a <coughs> excuse me. Melanin is a liquid substance, so it's a primordial chaos substance. So it feels things more intimately, and it's also the feminine its substance too. Because a feminine black womb that you have to come through as you were born. That same melanin. So you see what I'm saying? Everything has to come through a melanated thing to be original here and function here naturally. Going back to finishing up the Caucasian. So you have the unnatural Caucasian. They were created. Just point blank period. And to give you descriptions, 
Yeah, you just easy to say blonde hair, blue eyes, but it's not that simple. You just once you get a certain amount of spiritual light, and really, if you just ask your ancestors to show you, you'll be able to see it. These are kind of the ones who are straight archonic. Really, it's just based on the archonic frequency because they can all have a choice to a certain degree to go against that which is ruling over them if they really wanted to. Because they are everything is all, but we are the primordial source. We are the all. Like every like it's like an ant and a titan. Are the same are part of the same source, but if you're gonna go to knowledge, which is going to death, you know what I'm saying? Of course, the Titan, right? So it's like that's us to everything else, melanin people. It's just being not like not every everything else, but as far as your melanin, what it is, that's what it is in comparison to everything else. And you have to be okay with that. And I, this is like, yeah, people are oh, bro, that's easy. For my people that's already on this path, like, it's easy for us. But I, I'm speaking to y'all who are just beginning, like, well, I was told to give my, my, my light to this. No. They lied to you. And it's okay. Because you had to go through that kind of alchemy to be the deity that you are. Just as Isis has her own um, mythology, you got your own mythology as a deity. That's why you like these superheroes. These su uh, <laughs> shout out to Brother Phil Valentine <laughs> and Brother Pandy. Bro, Phil Valentine, I ain't mentioned Brother Phil Valentine. That's an advanced brother too, to a certain degree, y'all. Metaphysics wise, too, big time. Um, but you just want it, because there's certain brothers that just give out great knowledge in general about what these archons are doing who really control this United States corporation. That's not a government, it's a corporation. That's why the United States runs as a corporation, not a government. Everyone's elected pay up. How much is it willing to do? Anything for a dollar? Elected people. You know what I'm saying? So and you can look this up by um, the other constitution. The United States Corporation's flag is two. Ooh. I got shout out to my New York homies and home mates. Got New York ancestors too from that part. So shout out to Notorious Big. Anyway, it's at Gemini Energy. But, um, yeah, moving forward, though, my bad, y'all. Ooh, Phoenix, he brings back to me. Um, moving forward in regards to, yeah, the flag. Thank you, Phoenix. See, using one of my demonic forces on camera for your ass. So now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now, you see how easy it is to interact with your forces? But you have to be that comfortable. I got comfortable with the deity with them more so by looking at Bro Remedy H and Bro Melanie Orders videos, especially Bro Bro Remedy H. Bro brother, oh man, I got Bro brother, and I this ain't no, this is just giving praise to our teachers, yo. Like I give the same praise to Sister Conjure Queen, Sister Priestess I sent Amin Ra, Sister Shahzad Ali, uh, my my Empress who's passed on, and also the um, new Empress, Sister Empress Jaya of the Washita Nation. My Empress, Empress Verdiasi Tiara, Washington L. Bay, do not play with me. Like, no, I give praises to all my like master teachers, our people who are actually being our people, being those deities who we are. You get what I'm saying? We're not people, period, really. We a whole race of celestial beings. Got a nice ring to it when you think about it. <laughs> anyway, um, it really does. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah. So that's just some updates for y'all. So um the last thing on the Virgo though. Last thing on the Virgo. And this is just a reiterate, y'all, because March, the new new year. Here's why I'm reiterating this for real for real, because the new you and the war is gonna be starting. I'm just keeping real with you. Is 2021. When you get those powers that you actually you should have already had and you were putting in the work. Yeah, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Even me. Even me. I could be flying right now had I put in this much work when I first first awakened. I had to find my way to da, 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 da. go within, look at lectures, do the work, do the healing, make an ancestor altar, put in the work, put in the apologies to myself, to those who hurt me, to those I know I'm not going to be able to just, I know, F that, I'm a motherfucking deity. Those who will soon, I will be able to have that conversation with because I like talking. I don't mind talking things out. I also don't mind slitting the motherfucker throw to an end in the whole planet. It goes both ways. It goes both ways. Virgo and Scorpio. It can go both ways. But at the end of the day, 
it's still the feminine energy, so you know I'm receptive. I get it. You know I'm willing to work things out. But I will f a motherfucker's nutsack off and head off, and his whole family is ancestral bloodline off if they try me or my people. You have to be able to master that type of middle balance, my people. I get it. All my people, oh, you know, well, bro, Zach L, I'm bro, bro, Draco, Zach L, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of loving life, brother. I'm, I'm loving life. I get it, sis. Or I get it, brother. I get it. But you're going to have to come off that shit and get into your dark melanin arts. <laughs> Shout out to bro, Umar Johnson, yo. <laughs> you all know how, how, how we feel about Umar, y'all. But God damn, bro. Is that brother... If just uh, them sisters and brothers just, you know what I'm saying? But the, the play of our people, you know it. And that's the thing, y'all. We signed up for this. That's another thing. We signed up to come down here and give each other this knowledge and be awakened as ever, having incense going and, you know, flowing like weather and getting over here with a cool ass sweater. You know, we just came down here with this melanin flow to let it flow and go. By the way, y'all, I can flow. That's another thing. I got to get credit. Shout out to MF Doom. Shout out to MF Doom. Doomsday. Ever since I'm back to the essence, back to the tune now, let me stop it. Hey, my MF Doom fans out there, y'all, that brother has mad melanin verses to a degree. And shout out to that Capricorn energy. And he was a number nine. See, y'all, when you, y'all remember the Matrix, how they was able to see the codes? Now, all the stuff I've been mentioning to you, I've learned basically through numerology alone. Yeah, just that one science. That's one of our science. But no, no, let me stop. It's that one science, but because I, I had the knowledge of the numbers, but because I had the metaphysical wisdom from the mother, the metaphysical wisdom from that androgynous energy, being able to combine, right? Because it's not enough just to have the wisdom. Do you have knowledge to apply the wisdom? It's not enough to have the knowledge. Do you have the wisdom to know when to use it, to know when to strike, to know when to be silent, to know when you know it's all good? I'm going to just keep advancing, keep ascending. I'm going to bypass this religion. I'm going to let him go. I'm going to let her go. I'm going to give them healing. I'm going to give myself healing. I'm going to give my D suck. I'm going to give my Yoni 8 out. And I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to mash it and make it happen. I'm going to make sure that I'm joyful. I'm going to make sure I'm going to have fun. And I'm going to make sure not to leave that little kid that wanted to have that fun behind. Just because I'm awakened. Or just because I'm religious. Or whatever the hell your hiccup is that you think that you should just not heal and not Grow and advance and gain knowledge of self. I'll just summarize it like that. So, yeah, that's the juicy stuff. Now we come into, like, the real lecture. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's get to it. Uh, thank you for your patience, though. Oh, and just to uh, summarize all that in regards to the Caucasians, because, you know, I do want to look out for the true Caucasians. Shout out to the Nernians. You know, I got Caucasian Nernian ancestors. So, oh, and that's another thing. The reason y'all keep seeing me winking stuff is because how my download came with my intuition. If it's a yes, and this is for you to practice. I think I already did this, right? Yeah. So this is, a, and this is your right side of your brain. So what's the right? The right is magnetism, negative, feminine, receptive. The left is electricity, positive, masculine, pushing out. So with that being said, if you can say I link into myself and my eyes, my ancestors as I go and I want to ascend and help heal our family bloodline, help heal my genetics. You can this is always one of the safest best to do. Place on your solar plexus area. I ain't gonna repeat where it's at. Y'all gotta know this by now. This y'all know this one. It is mine. Um it's at your stomach though. Love y'all. You're welcome. But yeah, I link into myself. And awaken my intuition. I link into myself and ask my ancestral energy to be with me as I ascend, as I heal my bloodline, as I make sure to reclaim my birthright as a true sovereign deity that I am, as I reclaim my power, as I eliminate all those who have threatened my ancestors, threatened my life, threatened the lives of those I care about, threatened the lives of all that I hold dear. I link into myself to purge myself of all more vibrations, all human mindsets and embrace the true chaos being that I am, and embrace no boundaries, embrace no limitations. I embrace no pressure but the pressure I put on myself, and I cleanse myself of all thoughts that would limit me from my true power, my true awakening, and my true divine sovereign name. 
who I am in the I am that I am and it is done fuck to miss fuck to miss fuck to miss fuck to miss so yeah you can freestyle like that I kind of was in a trance right there so that's a down will be able to do you can practice that but uh yeah um you can do something like that but you want to you don't got to do all that extra. I guess I was just a trance, but you just got to have it in your mind that I want my intuition to awaken. I want my ancestors to aid me in my intuition. And one of the ways I would like my intuition to communicate with me, also give your body a name. Call your body whatever name you want, but give it a name that you resonate with. I would ask it if your intuition is up there enough. You don't got to write it. Just flip a coin. If your intuition ain't up there like that, flip a coin. Flip it as many times as your number is to get the true exact answer and tell your intuition when I flip this coin, whatever it's heads or tails, or whatever your question is, your this is tails, and you, whatever is heads. So you get what I'm saying? Because that's why I used to do before my intuition really, really awakened, because I wanted it that bad, because I was that damn determined. Because as a deity born on that Tuesday energy, I embody that Mars, I embody that determination. But as that Virgo wisdom, that Sophia now said wisdom, the, uh, the wisdom to resonate with uh, Osiris, the wisdom to birth Heru, the wisdom to lead a nation. Virgo is the energy of the divine mother and the energy of the divine maiden. Point blank, period. The one that can hold anyone down in a good way, like uplift. Uplift Osiris from the dead, hold Heru down and hide Heru from the set energy, which set was actually the hero back in the gap. The Typhonian Egyptians after them is when you got the whole sets, the bad guy. Think Scar Mufasa from Lion King. That's a tale of Osiris um, set in uh, Heru. So, yeah, they, they always tell our stories, y'all. Like, even the movies, they all about us. If you want an example of this, you can go look up Bro Marvin Jones. You can go look up Bro RFG Chosen One on breakdowns of videos of what they, how they really be talking about just us. It's not being arrogant, and I'm helping y'all realize, get out of it, get out of it. I get you may have that one Caucasian friend or that one Caucasian boo. Hey, great mother help you, but don't let that stop your divinity. Don't let that stop you from who you are. As in to say, don't pussyfoot around it and kid yourself. If you're going to listen to this for this long, at least acknowledge the deity that you are. Give yourself that privilege. Give yourself that right. Dang this information if you're not going to acknowledge the deity that was in or that is within, or you, if you're not going to at least give yourself the benefit of the doubt that, okay, well, I was taught. If basically, how I got to how far I am is when I looked at bros like Bro Pet, or sisters like Sister Conjure Queen, Sister Priestess, I said, I'm around, I'm like, if me being a deity is a deity that I am, and I won't be proper, I won't be able to protect my family. I won't be able to slay these archons that are harming my people. I want to be a, excuse me, F all that, because I'm a deity now, so I'm about that. That was back, back then, back in the gap, two years ago or so. But a lot can happen when you just determine. Also, link it to the Orisha that you with too. Mine is that you have a feminine Orisha and a masculine Orisha that's normally they have with you heavy. Mine is um, Ogun and Yimya. Oh, and by the way, yeah, so my bad, that, uh, uh, the, how does it help with your intuition and link and, like, talk to your intuition? So if your intuition ain't on point like you would like it to be, start flipping coins, do it on your phone, hey, Google, flip the coin, all that, you know, or Siri or whatever you got. Or, you know, you can do this too, on top of that, you can ask your intuition to say, to basically make this part of your head vibrate, the right part of your head vibrate if it's a yes, if you ask the question, and this part for no, because this is masculine, Saturn, restrictive sometimes, you know, the planet Saturn, Capricorn, this is like the Cancer energy, mother, receptive, moon, um, so you get what I'm saying? So if you want to ask mom how mom can sometimes say yes all the time, but that's when sometimes say no, but vice versa, you know, sometimes dads know what's good, like, oh, dad I can't go to the party or you know your guardian whoever your bro whoever the person that you looked up to whoever was your mentor like oh mentor you know i don't think i could you know achieve this this goal no no you can achieve this you know a, a uplifting no so don't always think of it as you know realize the duality and everything look at those seven laws of tahuti or look up the kabbalion which is a, a from the emerald tablets of thought who is
looking for the love for the deed he got, and now it has arrived. Hey, so this is thought to Hootie. Just wanted to show you for another look. But yeah, um, and you know, for be y'all being this patient too, because this is just the kind of juicy stuff. But y'all getting juicy stuff. You getting juicy stuff. Y'all admit. I mean, even if you kind of advance, because 